I'm gonna connect the cornet. You were involved in something in life. And I'd like to hear your side of what happened. Right. Tell me, what's all this about? Well, what we're here for investigating something that happened earlier in life. We're wondering if you can tell us what happened to You had three guns on you tonight. Let's just say, for example, that maybe it's not one of the three that you had on you. Wait, they did what? Did they seriously discharge Void Ranger out of the hospital while he was being treated for PTSD? The nerve of those robots. Do you have any idea what this is about? Yeah, but do you know what anything that you have an idea what led up to that? Yes. The very last time we saw each other was when we worked together to stop nanobots to point zero. It's a good thing I got out of there. Holy shit, Lloyd. He's in trouble. I have to do something quick. Ranger and Miss Janko Vaishiko, why can't you just be good little children and die? Well, Mr. Makarov, the way of the antivirus is much more than protecting computers. The way of the antivirus is protecting your friends as well, and those you care about. Something that you never had. The United Antiverse Movement isn't just a verse syndicate. Beneath the roots of the verse syndicate is an idea. Makarov. And our IDs are zero. Day. Malware? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> As I always say, go riddance to bad rubbish. Miss Jungle, hold your fire, don't shoot! Jungle, this is Liam and Void Jr. You're mine. If this is what families do... Jungle! Take Liz and my son and get them off this island as quickly as possible. Yes, sir. Wait, wait! What about you? Liz, I'm sorry, but I won't be joining you this time. I have to go back inside and finish Tyranium off once and for all. Wait, no! You can't go back in there! Get yourself killed! I know, darling. But I have to do this to make sure the nanobots never see light of day. And I need to do this to save the computer world. Besides, if I can't do it, who will? <laughs> yes, if I don't make it, please take good care of our son. He is the future of saving the computer world. I won't let you die up there! For the last time, Princess, no! I have to do this, and you have to take care of my son while I'm gone. Hands in order, Your Majesty. <sighs> Alright. I'll take good care of him. I promise. And whenever I look into his beautiful eyes, 
I will always remember you. I promise. Oh, bye, blue boy. I guess I'll see you on the other side. Goodbye, Junko. Hope to see you again soon. After Vic revived the Blueberry Boy, we all said our goodbyes and went our separate ways, though I still had no idea that Vo would go admitted to the hospital immediately after his mission. The reason that it was there is because something happened there. Now, when you were stopped, you had a couple of guns on you? Is there any reason that your truck would have been at the CVS around the corner tonight? Forgive me, officer, but I have no idea what you're talking about. I never even heard of such diff codes until now. When shots are fired. Positive, sir. Then, how was it there? But you were there. Video cameras? Wait, before this interrogation is over, just remember one thing. If you should mess with the U of E's affairs, trust me, it's the last mistake you'll ever make, Buster. It doesn't alleviate the fact that you're there. Search complete. Over 1,700 results have been found. 1,700, huh? That must be like... seven years of research and development behind this project. Computer, search for the Malik script. Search complete. Over six results have been found. Huh. What a coincidence. Six results. Which means six versions of Malix. Wait. That's just like my fiancé. He's the sixth version of the rogue antivirus his father once created. Computer! Launch notepad.exe and open up the latest version of the Malik script. Now let's see... Malix. A curated dataset of malware and executable samples for malware researchers. The dataset contains executable binaries and corresponding image representations labeled as malware. This dataset has a reasonable number of samples and is sufficient to test the data-driven machine learning classification methods and also to measure the performance of the designed models in terms of scalability and adaptability. So. This is what they're using to test antivirus robots against the viruses. Hmm. I doubt anyone would mind if I sample a copy of their medicine. Hmm? Don't even think about it, princess. Attention, Princess Liz Elizabeth Rex. This is Minister Intel with the United Antivirus Movement. You have been caught trying to steal personal information from a private company. Come quietly or you'll be locked up in quarantine for the next 15 years. Wait! I recognize you! You're the minister who's been helping out my fiancé ever since he came back to the computer world! Where is he? I demand you tell me where he is! Well, your highness... I would love to lend you a helping hand. However, I couldn't help but notice your system being infected with Nimda. What does Nimda have to do with helping me find my fiancé? My dear Princess Liz Elizabeth Rex, you have been infected with the Nimda virus, 
a virus that reverse engineers admin privileges to the perpetrator. Hence, admin spelt backwards. Yes, I know what Nimda is capable of. Are you also aware that given the current circumstances of your reversed admin privileges that any perpetrator who gains remote access to your computer can easily blue screen your system with the deletion of your system 30 to a folder? Hold on a second. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that because this supreme AI infected me with the Nimda virus, that I've become more vulnerable to getting hit by the dreaded blue screen of death? Of course, but rest assured, your highness. I can help you prevent that from happening. I can make this easy for you, my dear. Just install this blue script onto your system. I will wipe your CMOS memory clean and you will finally be disinfected from the Nimda virus or keep the red script that's already installed and suffer your eventual deletion. The choice is yours. Wait, before I make my decision, promise me one thing. If I install this script onto my system, and you wipe away my CMOS memory, does that mean I'll never see my fiancé ever again? My dear Liz Elizabeth Rex, I assure you your fiancé will be waiting for you at the end of the tunnel. I will personally make that happen, I promise. It's IDOS, your highness. Because of the damage it sustained earlier, the company is caving in on itself. We have to reach the rooftop before it's too late. Do you understand? Yes, sir! I can't believe we made it! That's what you think, you pathetic little swine. Who's crawling back again? The man, the myth, the legend, Minister Fairtail, back for more, I see. And what do we have here? You brought the little girlfriend of yours. Girlfriend? Who the fuck are you calling girlfriend? I'll have you know that I'm engaged to one of your brothers. Thank you very much. Oh, and you're one of Wood's prostitutes, aren't you? What the fuck did you just call me? Dark web. Did you seriously call that woman a prostitute? No, man! I think he called her a cow! So you like calling me names, huh? Well then you're a fucking robot who never got laid once in your life. The only reason you strip at a nightclub is to make ends meet for your own broke ass. Come with me, bitch. I will smash you to pieces. What's wrong with you? Forgot to apply suntan lotion? Huh? Too much sunburn? It's not sunburn. Also, you're no DJ. You're just an amateur who always puts four on the floor in a music software. And that's all you'll ever be good at doing. How dare so And one more thing? Which is worse? A guy who locks himself in his room just to play video games? Or a guy who intentionally gets himself sick 24-7? Pick one! My dear, this will be the last time you ever roast us, ever. Yeah, ever. Come on, boys. 
Let's force this bitch upside down so we can take jello body shots on her at the strip club. Minister Intel, run! I'll handle these clowns! Those clones won't be bothering us again anytime soon. Your Highness, I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to make it. I think I sprained something while trying to make my escape. Please, you got to get out of here before Optical Illusions knows you're here. Oh no you don't! You're coming with me! I'm not gonna sit by and watch you die in front of me! No chance! Princess Liz, behind you. What's wrong, gamer? Are you triggered that you got caught by the police in Grand Theft Auto 5? Princess Liz Elizabeth Rex, want to thank you for saving my life. If it hadn't been for you, I would have suffered the same fate as my predecessor back at Tikkun Islands. After all, I was entrusted with Mkefi's dev codes as stated in his last will and testament. And if I was too blue screen at the hands of those clones, then his death would have forever been in vain. All right, Intel. Listen to me. I understand that you have a lot of responsibilities as an antivirus, especially as a successor to a previous minister who passed away. And I am well aware with how much stress you're in. But at the end of the day, you shouldn't beat yourself up over these things. First of all, it's not healthy for you. And second, it will only make the situation worse. So please, for the love of God, relax. Take a deep breath and don't beat yourself up over things that are beyond your control. Do you understand? Very well, your highness. It will be as you say. Now, let's go send out a distress signal so that the UAV knows we're here. Wait, do you mean? That's right, your highness. You wanted to see your fiancé again, right? If you follow me now, I will take you to him. I promise. This is Minister Intel 2, Minister Norton. Come in, Minister Norton. This is Minister Norton speaking. Minister Norton, this is Liz Elizabeth Rex of Townstend. I need you to contact my fiancé, Void Ranger. Tell him to come to IDOS Technologies immediately. Minister Intel is going to send out a distress signal immediately following this broadcast. Do you understand? Yes, my dear. Oh, and your highness, welcome back. It's great to be back, Minister. It's great to be back. Void Ranger! Come in, Void Ranger! Are you there? It's me! Princess Liz Elizabeth Rex of Townstend. Come in, my blueberry boy! Princess Liz, I read you loud and clear, my love. <laughs> Calling all rogue rangers. Come in, rogue rangers. We have a princess to save. Let's move, move, move! Void! Be careful, my blue little antivirus. 
after Minister Intel finally snapped Princess Liz back from her rogue software behavior, Void and his fellow rogue rangers are now on their way to answer Liz and Intel's distress call. Will Void and his friends be able to make it in time, before IDOS caves in on Liz and Intel? And what does the Apathis Police investigation have to do with the United Antivirus Movement? Don't miss the next episode of AXA Rangers S. And coming soon to Dishonor for Honor, we have two more battles for Dishonor, the first being, Computer, taking on the infamous Ninja Virus in the first ever Symphony of Destruction match, every instrument you can think of can be used, as a weapon in this match, and only one of these fighters is going to conduct the Symphony of Victory, and then, Axer Line puts the Divas Championship on the line against the returning Junko Ishikawa in a ladder match this summer at Dishonor for Honor, who will grab a ladder, and climb it to reach the championship, find out this summer, Axa Rangers S, Dishonor for Honor, more matches coming soon, 12 episodes away.